All right. This is Billy, and he's currently a paraplegic yellow, uh, red-tailed black cockatoo, and he's going to need lots of physiotherapy to stop these legs from the muscles wasting away, or the and the joints fusing up while the nerves are healing. So we need to start on a regular basis, three, four times a day, doing a lot of bicycling. We want to get these, and I normally get the, the toes in the open position, like this, and the toes in the open position like that, and then we do a lot of movement, and we might do this for five or ten minutes. That's all right, matey. And then we'll be doing some work on each toe. Making sure each joint is flexed and extended through its full normal range of motion. And we can do some massaging of the muscles of the calf and the front here and there as well. I'm just going to pinch there and see if that causes a reaction. No. So he seems to be numb. No. Okay, well, we'll get some x-rays taken or and or a quantum assessment done to see what else can be done. That'll be the next step. We're just showing you some of the physiotherapy, so um, the sorts of things that need to be done when a bird is paralysed, if we're going to give these legs a chance of coming back to function, uh, it's the same thing I do for rainbow lorikeets that come in as um, clenched foot syndrome. We're wanting to maximise the chances of recovery, we're wanting to minimise the uh, wasting away of muscles, we're wanting to minimise arthritic changes in the joints. So, if you don't use them, you lose them. And we have to help him right now. So that's that step. Now, the next step we're going to do is, um, just moving on a little bit, is that when I slide the skin across, it should go back like an elastic band. When I slide his skin across, if I slide his skin as far as it will stretch that way, this should have swung back round to here. It's staying there. So this birdie is very dehydrated. So the next step is, we'll show you how we give fluids under the skin, or intravenously, or both. So 